be here this morning. So he's asked me to say, to say a very special one motion hi to all of our new students who don't know me. I'm Mr. Cocker. <laughs> And I'm head of the math at this school. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to your senior student coordinator, Ms. Brannigan. Thank you, Mr. Cocker. Our first step this year is to select a senior year president. The two candidates running are Corey Brown, Michael Feldman, and Virgil McFerrin. Now, election day is next Friday, and that is when each of the candidates will be giving their election presentations. But for now, I'd like to each to come to the address the class. Corey, would you like to start us off? Hi everyone. As you know, my name is Corey Palmer, and, like, and I'd like to introduce to you my two best friends and deputies, Alf Bueller and Kurt Keaton. We have a lot of very exciting plans for our senior year, including a couple of secret ideas that we've been working on. Trust me, they will blow you away. We will reveal them at the rally next Friday. In closing, let me just say that this will be an awesome final year. And Alf, Kirk, and I will do absolutely everything we can to be remembered as the best senior class to ever graduate from William Moshe High School. Thank you, thank you. Michael Feldman, the coolest guy at school. Movie star looks, national athlete, captain of the football team, and most depressingly of all, every girl in the school threw themselves at him, including Tiffany. Michael and his gang were the kind of guys I could never hope to compete with. My well, fellow seniors, this year's gonna rock. In case you've been living under a rock for the past five years, my name's Michael Feldman. <laughs> I'd like to introduce to you the only team worthy of being your student leaders. My deputies will be Billy Arnold, Tiffany Houston, and Cindy Gibson, who I'm sure needs no introduction, right guys? Yeah. Shut up, you mean? <laughs> that was Cindy Gibson. Cindy was the kind of girl who could say whatever she wanted. She knew it. She also knew how popular she was with the boys. Personally, I would have been happy with one girlfriend. Just one. But Cindy, she'd gone out with every member of the football team at some stage or another. Why do you all just grow up? Get with it. We're called seniors for a reason. At rally day, you'll see our full proposal. Oh, and guys, you better be there, because there will be cheerleaders. That's my election promise to you. Yeah. yeah! So let me leave you with this, my friends. If you elect me as president, I can guarantee that William Motion will rock. We're seniors, dudes. Let's make this the most radical year of our lives. <laughs> I would like to depart. <laughs> and then there was Fergal Robert McFerrin III. Now, Alf, Kirk, and I may not have been as cool as Michael in this game, but compared to Fergal, we were Michael Jackson, Michael J. Fox, and Rick Astley, all old in the one. I'm sure every school had someone like him, someone who just didn't quite fit in. Fergal was the kind of guy who could bring a sense of happiness and laughter into the room, simply by leaving it. Senior class, my name is Fergal Bobby McFerrin III, and I am a candidate for the student presidency. I would like to introduce my VPs, Laura Wilde and Debbie Fox. Oh. Fellow students, the 80s are drawing to a close, and I believe technology is the way of the future. I would like to make William Ocean High the most technologically advanced school in the country. Your recent study has shown that if silicon chip technology continues to grow at its exponential rate, have computers twice, maybe three times the power of a Commodore 64 sitting at our desk. That is only the beginning. We could get all the computers in the world talking to each other using hypertext transfer protocol. Computers would be easy for anyone to use to crash the user interface. DOS will be a relic of the past. Sitting at your home, at your desk, the question will be, where do you want to go today? Yes, thank you for going to your class. Oh, Don't miss Brandon, I haven't finished yet. Well, I think that went exceptionally well. <laughs> Tiffany, how are you? Hey, Corey, I'm doing good. How come you were at home yesterday? I came over 
sort of shoot some hoops with you. Oh, I had to go shopping at the mall with my mom. Cool. Um, yeah. You know, I can't believe this is finally our senior year. I know, it's gonna be so awesome. I know, I'm having a blast. So, Corey, tell me honestly, there's this guy. Oh, heck, I'm gonna come straight out with it. Do you think Michael Feldman likes me? Cindy thinks he has a crush on me. Oh, um, I don't know. I guess he probably does. I mean, look at you. You're intelligent and funny and very pretty. Michael is such a sweet guy and he's cute, don't you think? I hadn't really thought about it. Good. His ears are kind of big. <laughs> I want you to meet some friends of mine from dance class. They're doing their senior year of really emotion. This is Melanie and this is Kimberly. They're twins. Isn't that neat? Hi, everyone just calls us Mel and Kim. Hey, that's my name Corey. <laughs> so, what's the gossip in this place? Who are those guys over there? Yeah, they're hot. Well, girls, that's Michael Feldman, the most radical guy in school. And the guy next to him is Billy Arnold. <laughs> He's got a crush on me. And the guy next to him is Huey Jackson. Hey, maybe I can set one of you up with him. Hey, girls. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael. Hi. Michael, this is Mel and Kim. They're twins. It's twins? <laughs> Did they have different fathers or something? <laughs> Shut up, Huey. Well, I mean, look at them. Anyways, me and the guys are going roller skating Friday. If you guys want to come along, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be cool. Alright, cool. Hey, Tiff, uh, how were you holidays? Oh, they were so awesome. I had such a good time. How come you guys weren't at any of the parties? We were all working. Some of us have to keep the country running, you know. Oh, well, they were wild. I didn't get home till 6 a.m. one morning. morning. My parents were such a drag. My mom completely freaked out. Oh, wild. Well, it's okay for you. You're a guy. Well... Kind of. Yeah, you guys can do whatever you want. It's not as easy for us. <laughs>
evil can evil eat your heart out. Hi guys. Hey, what took you so long? Sorry, I've been working on this awesome election idea. Oh, hey, sorry guys, I'm gonna go say hi to Tiffany real fast. Hi girls. Hey Corey. Hey Corey, I'm great, bye. Um, <laughs> thanks. I'm supposed to be getting a new one for my birthday. So, um, how are you? Pretty good. What are you guys up to? Oh, not much. Just waiting for Michael and the other guys to get done with football practice. Oh, okay. Well, I better get going. We're supposed to be working on our election campaign. How's that going? Wicked. We've got some really cool ideas. Corey, I don't even know why you're bothering. Everybody knows that Michael and Tiffany are going to win. Cindy, we don't know that. Yeah, all right. So, how, how is your campaign going? Um, okay. It'd be better if we could get Michael to sit down with us and actually talk about it. All right. Well, I better go. Check y'all later. Toodles! Bye. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Hey, you see the A-team yesterday? Of course I did. What you looking at, fool? Come <laughs> on, guys. Grow up. Election day is tomorrow. What you talking about, Willis? Take your order. Pull my finger. Jeez, Kirk. What are you, still in first grade? What? I was just joking around. Whoa, dude. You're pretty tense. You need to chill out. Sorry. It's, it's just that this election is really important to me, you know? It's our senior year. We're gonna remember this forever. Yeah, it is flying by, right? Before you know it, we'll live in the 90s. What do you think that'll be like? I think we'll be living in flying saucers, and humans will be able to fly, just like the greatest American hero. We're not gonna be able to fly, but our cars will be able to talk, like a Knight Rider. David Hasselhoff is so cool. You said it, man. Actually, guys, I don't think a lot will change. We won't be flying, our cars won't talk, and we will still live in houses. David Hasselhoff, he will still be cool, but only in Germany. Shh. <laughs> yeah. And the Russians will be our friends. Well, by the year 2000, computers will run our lives. We will all have mobile telephones that fit into the palm of our hands. Fertile, you're nuts. Like, that stuff's ever going to happen. A prophet is always mocked in his own lifetime. <laughs> Me. Hello? Yes? Yes? Oh my god. I have got to go. I've developed some software that will enable computers to talk to each other at Bill's house. Ah, uh, not Gatesy. He's such a nerd. How can we spend so many time with him? He is a genius, and one day we're both going to make a lot of money out of computers. Mark my words. Alright, let's go. So, you going to tell us what this, this big mystery idea is? Yep. Here it is. Guys, we're going to hold a concert at the school. A concert? Why? Our school is always short of money, right? Right. So this is it. Remember USA for Africa, Live Aid? Yeah, of course. Well, we're going to hold a concert like that at school for our parents. We're all dressed up like Michael Jackson and Cindy Lauper, and we'll charge people money to come and see it. Hey, that is a good idea. Yeah. And then we can tell everyone that all the money we raise will go towards holding the bi biggest prom night this city has ever seen. Now you're getting the idea, dude. I love it when it comes together. He's finished. Here they come. Oh, Michael, Billy. Oh, hey there. Hi. Okay, Michael, hurry up and go get changed. We need to start working on our election stuff. Corey and the other guys have already got a lot done, so we better get started. Yeah, yeah, well... Why don't we go back to your pen? We'll meet you there in about half hour. Okay, see you then. Hey, Palmer. How's the election campaign going? Okay. Is that it? Might be. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me help you with that. No, it's fine. We're going anyways. Hey, Palmer. Good luck with the election tomorrow. I'm hoping Nate will come in in a second. God, he's such a jerk. We have a proposal. Thank you. 